Hi everyone, this is Osama and I am, this is my first tutorial on this channel, so welcome to my channel. And today I'm walking through my process on how to render multiple scenes in one click of a button. So you don't actually render each scene separately or use some kind of a hack or plugin or some kind of a script command line trick or whatever. So this is actually inside of Blender. So how I did it, I actually explored stuff and found out and I was surprised no one was actually sharing this tip. Maybe someone might be, I haven't actually seen one. Okay, so this is a sample scene. Just ignore the deal, details. This is for a website. So I created two scenes. One is this one. This is completely different. And there's this another one. So I wanted to render both of these scenes together. This one, I ignored the orange. I didn't like the orange. Yeah. So how do I render both of these separate scenes in one click of a render animation? So here's my tip. We create a new scene. So if you don't know what scene is, scene is basically a Blender file inside of the Blender file. And each Blender file can be linked or can be completely separate. So if you go on the top, there's this one. By default, it will be scene. And you can actually click here to duplicate the scene. Basically, you can create a full copy, a linked copy. Everything will be linked. I mean, change one thing on one scene, the other one changes, copy settings, and new. So it can be like you have one scene, you create one animation, and you have two cameras. And from one take one, it take captures from one to 80, and take two is the same scene, but camera um, captures from another angle or maybe some different thing. So you can have these this in two separate scenes but in this case these are two completely different scenes nothing is linked maybe some materials are linked and some stuff is so how do we do it so trick is to create a new new scene completely blank nothing is linked you don't need any uh, anything copied okay a blank canvas there's nothing here it's like you know even there's no even default cube we'll just add one for the sake of it and delete it as per tradition all right so next step is to add a video editing workspace one method is to just you know change add these panel but i would prefer going clicking on the um plus at the top here and add workspace and go to video editing and video editing okay we have our setup ready so i'll just hit shift a or if you're not familiar shift a is um applicable throughout the blender um you know scenes like in 3d space shift a notes note um, shading node shift a everywhere so it works like to add a uh, new object or new something. So you hit Shift A in the sequencer. This is a sequencer. And there's this menu to add stuff. Interesting stuff. If you haven't actually explored this, this is a complete video editor and really nice. So if you add a add scene, and there we have it, our two scenes, one and two click one and we have our scene and it's animated interesting okay so it's it was 200 frames but our new scene is by default 250 so um okay let's add another one shift a two okay was placed right where the my cursor was so We'll have to arrange these because these are overlapping. So we'll just drag from the center, not from the edges, because if you drag from the edges, it trims the video. We don't want that. So from the center, select and drag and place it right 
ahead of the one. Okay. So we have like one ends and second starts. But since it is set to 250, you'll have to increase this to 200 plus 200 is 400. Okay, we have like, there's also this area we don't want. We just match with the uh, scene resolution. That is one, sorry, 1080. And there we have it. We have both our scenes. Okay, just to show you, the settings are the same. Okay, so the render settings inside of video editor, that doesn't matter. You just leave it as it is. Um, I'll hit F12. F12 is a short key, or you just go to the render menu and hit render image, not render animation yet. And as you can see, nothing is happening. Actually, it's happening, but it's not showing any progress or some, anything because it is happening in the background. It's actually rendering the image from scene one first. Then it will render again using this workspace's render setting. So let's see. Okay, it's rendered and render time is 34 seconds, just as I set it in the scene one. And as you can see, there's this motion blur, there's this compositing and everything is perfect as I had set it earlier. So that's done. And I hope my second scene is also perfect. So you just check the test render and see if everything is perfect or not. So there you have it. If you press press render animation or control F12, it will render sequentially from scene one to 200, then scene two, 201 to two, so 400. So yeah, that's all there is for now. And thank you for watching.